Hi Cozy Friends, I'm Kennedy, also known as Cozy K on here. And today we're building a PC, finally! I get so many questions and comments about building a PC. Usually it's how do I go about it for the first time? And I always felt bad because I bought a custom pre-built and so I had no idea how to go about the process. But now I get to finally take you through the process from start to finish. As someone who's never built one before, ever, literally ever, I am fresh and clueless to this process. So let's figure this out together. This video is sponsored by Intel. So thank you so, so much to Intel because we would not be able to bring this build together without them. We'll be using the absolute powerhouse of a GPU, the Intel Arc today, thanks to them, along with some other parts they provided that I'll get into later. So I'll be taking you through the build process, which items I'm using, kind of the price range for the items, and you'll be able to see from start to finish how we're building this thing together. So let's get real cozy. I have a candle burning and we're gonna jump in. So this is the motherboard. This is the main part that all of the other parts will connect to, and this is what will eventually mount onto the main case. Here's the beautiful Intel Arc box. It lights up, it's so beautiful. This is what the CPU and the GPU came in. And up top there is the CPU, that's the i7. And what I love about this CPU is that it works with Intel's Deep Link technology, which is just the cooperation between Intel's CPU and GPU. And I just place it right on down into the motherboard. Next is the RAM, which is the computer's short-term memory. It allows you to run multiple programs at once. This is my favorite part because you literally just snap them in place. It's so easy and you see I add more later on too. So this is the SSD, which is the more long-term data storage. I think a lot of people tend to use SSDs over hard drives these days, so if you see both of those words, you know the context. Next is the CPU cooler, which just ensures that the CPU stays cool. Intel also provided me with RAM, so I just went ahead and added more in. The cooler was kind of the hardest part for me to get down, but I eventually got there. It's just a lot of mounting and making sure you don't mess things up, like the thermal paste that I'm adding on right now. Since it's a major part of the build, I really wanted to go for a unique looking CPU cooler. I really love the neutral brown fan color. Y'all know that matches my aesthetic perfectly. And then I love the kind of analog looking cooling mechanic versus the kind of high tech ones you see more often. So now it's time to mount the motherboard onto the case. And I went for this case because it's all white, it has fans built in, and it has this RGB lighting, which is really cool. Next is the Wi-Fi card. Some motherboards come with Wi-Fi built in, mine didn't, so I just got a Wi-Fi card. Super easy to install. Next is the power supply. This is how everything inside the PC gets its power. This was another pretty challenging part. It was kind of hard figuring out where everything plugs in and how many things plug in and where. But as long as you follow a tutorial based on your motherboard, you're good to go. So now is the time to talk about the star of the show, the Intel Arc A750 GPU. So this GPU starts at $289, which is a very competitive price when you're looking at performance per dollar. So let me run through some of the features. The first feature is the XE Super Sampling. XESS uses AI enhanced upscaling so you can really bump up the settings and it also allows for real time ray tracing. And I don't know the technical mechanics of ray tracing, but I know that it essentially mimics real world light behavior in the game, which is amazing. Next is Intel's Arc Control virtual camera, which allows for amazing stream features. So there's automatic camera framing, there's virtual green screen. It's just the perfect tool for streamers. Next is one of my favorite parts of the GPU as both a gamer and a content creator. It's Intel Arc's hardware accelerated AV1 encode, which if you don't know what that means, I don't really either, but it's the fact that you can pre create, stream, share, consume high quality content at high, high levels of performance and efficiency. So you're just getting amazing speeds with some of the big programs you might be using to create. So I know that was a lot of information taken, but basically what you need to take away is this GPU is a monster. Like it is going to take care of everything you need. If you're a gamer, if you're a creator, whatever. So let's see how it fits into the build. All right, we're on day two. Um, 
Day two is the software. So we got all the hardware in yesterday. Super excited about that. But now we're just gonna do the software, drivers, hopefully it turns on. This is what I'm most scared for because there were a couple couple cores, couple plugs that honestly might go somewhere completely different. I tried my best, I tried my best. Let's see, let's, let's try it. Okay, this is the power button. Okay, it's on. It's so quiet. I don't know if it seems it seems like it's on, right? The Intel Arc sign is lit up. <gasps> the 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 monitor's on. Look, okay, this is on. Oh my god, it looks so <laughs> sick. And this just turned on. Yay! Oh my god, it works. I can't I cannot <laughs> I don't know why I didn't trust myself, but it works. Women in STEM. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. So now the next steps are really just software windows. I'm gonna install the drivers and we can test it out. We can test out the Intel Arc. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll be back. I'm so happy with how this build turned out. I even ordered some custom cables to replace those bottom white ones that match a little bit more. They're brown and tan and they're gonna be so cute. I also just wanna add if I can build this thing, anybody can. I came in knowing nothing, so you 100% can build a PC on your own too. So basically y'all, I'm in love. This thing is absolutely cooking with these graphics. So I was watching a 4K video and playing Sims on ultra high settings and had absolutely zero problems. So I'm gonna try and play East Shade, which is a very like graphics heavy, beautiful game about painting. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right, I'm turning it to the highest setting. <gasps> Look at the lighting. Oh. That is just beautiful. Wow. I don't know if you can see as well as I'm seeing it on here. Ah! It's just like, look at the light rays. This is like the perfect spot in the game to show y'all the graphics. That ray tracing is really showing what it can do. That is crazy. I really hope that showed y'all how powerful this GPU is. Oh my God, it's just that, yeah, that's amazing. It's super quick, everything's quick. I love, love, love this GPU so far. I love it more than the one that um, I've been using prior. It just did not have that ray tracing. That ray tracing, oh, it's so beautiful. So that's it, I love it, I'm in love. Thank you so much for watching this process and thank you to Intel for supporting this channel and for providing some amazing tools for us to build our first PC together on this channel. What a milestone. If you told me when I first started this channel that we'd build a whole PC, I would have called you crazy. If you'd like to check out the Intel Arc, I'll have the product information in the description. Maybe you wanna put it in your Black Friday, Cyber Monday car. Maybe you wanna put it on your holiday wish list. And then we could be twinsies with our GPUs. I'll also link my PC part picker profile so you can see my exact specs for my entire build. Thank you again. I'm so proud of us. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.